Okay, hi there. As we reach the end of 2022, let's do an update on the uh, the key indicator of economic development known as the Human Development Index, or HDI. So what is the Human Development Index? Well, it's a, a measure, a broad composite measure of improvement in people's lives. Now, the HDI, uh, which has been around now for many, many years, is calculated through a geometric mean of three aspects. First of all, income per capita. Secondly, health, measured by life expectancy at birth, and also an education component. Uh, the third aspect of HDI, which is the average between mean years of schooling and expected years of schooling. Now, crucially, each component of the HDI has an equal one-third weighting. So, a reminder, three components of HDI, knowledge, educational component, long and healthy life, a minimum value for life expectancy of 25 years, a maximum of 85, and also a decent level of income using GNI or GDP per capita, adjusted for purchasing power parity standard. Now, interestingly, the last uh, most recent data published on HGI by the United Nations Development Programme has shown that for the second year in a row, uh, the Human Development Index overall for the world has declined, erasing the gains of the previous five years. So as we reach the end of 2022, what we're finding is that progress in improving human development, in reducing extreme poverty, uh, at a basic level, a key level, has stalled or perhaps gone into reverse. And of course, the lagged effects of the COVID-19 pandemic are starting to show through in the data. Indeed, if you look at this chart, uh, drops in the Human Development Index were widespread amongst during the pandemic. 90% of countries did suffer a decline in their overall HDI score in either 2020 or in 2021. So let's look a little bit uh, in more detail at the numbers for the most recent publication of the HDI. Obviously, I can't show every country. I've, tr I've tried to choose a selection for you. And the country which came top in 2022 is Switzerland. It overtook Norway for the first time in many years. Switzerland achieved the highest ranking on the HDI, whereas at the bottom, South Sudan uh, came bottom of the 191 countries surveyed. This picture here shows an aerial view of Juba, the capital of South Sudan, with the River Nile there on the right-hand side. So a contrast, a clear, stark contrast in human development between Switzerland and South Sudan. Switzerland, Norway and Iceland were the three highest ranking countries on the HDI in 2022. Uh, Switzerland has a score of 0.962. The maximum score you can get is, is 1. Very, very light, high life expectancy, as you can see there. Very high expected years of schooling and mean years of schooling. There's obviously, obviously a gap between the two. And all of these countries have a high, although not the highest, per capita income in terms of US dollars measured at PPP. Here are some other countries. I've put red, uh, UK and red there. We came 18 from the HGI. That's actually a fall. The UK was the 12th, 13th, 14th a few years back. It's now 18th on this measure. Uh, Ireland has now uh, raced beyond the UK. Singapore scored better than the UK. Uh, South Korea is just almost uh, about to overtake the UK. Chile came in at 42. China came in at 79th on the HDI. Mexico, 86th. And then the whole series of countries that I'm particularly interested in from a development point of view, countries such as Vietnam, Bangladesh and India, Cambodia, etc. These countries are still performing in relatively, relative terms lowly on human development index. India, for example, is 132nd compared with China at 79th. And then we see some countries near the bottom there, including South Sudan, with an HDR score of 0.385. Uh, look at the lower life expectancies there, 55 years and very low uh, expected and mean years of schooling. And of course, the key indicator there is that their per capita income, uh, 768, is one of the lowest in the world. Taking a look at the African countries, uh, these are the countries in Africa with the highest HDI score and rank. And here they are. Uh, Mauritius came top and the Seychelles came second. Mauritius, the first African country to reach 0 
on the Human Development Index. Now, the highest ranked countries in the world were as follows. Here they are. Here are the top 10. Switzerland, Norway, Iceland, we've already mentioned. Hong Kong, China comes in there, a special administrative region. Australia, fifth. Denmark, Sweden, Ireland, Germany and the Netherlands. All of these, of course, are high income nations with very high life expectancy and high per capita incomes. The lowest ranked countries in 2022, the lowest ranked HDI scores were as follows. We've mentioned South Sudan, Chad was 190th, Niger. Chad and South Sudan had an HDI score of less than 0.4. And uh, look at the mean years of schooling on this. On the, in there. I think it's column five, isn't it, on this chart? South Sudan, actually relatively higher, uh, 5.7 years. But in many of these countries, there's an enormous gap, a chasm, if you like, between the expected years of schooling uh, and the actual years of schooling that people uh, uh, get according to the data. And notice again here, very, very low per capita incomes. Burundi was the country in 2022 with the lowest per capita income in the world of just $732. That's at uh, 2017 prices and again adjusted for PPP, purchasing power parity. Just uh, quickly look at uh, an, uh, an interesting indicator. Sometimes if you just take a country and think about their GNI per capita, you could rank them and you look at their HGI ranking. Well, what about those countries whose human development score is better than if we just looked at uh, GNI per capita. And this is what we get. Uh, Cuba and Tonga appear very strong on this index. Can you see here? Uh, Cuba has an HGI ranking of 83rd, but a per capita income of just under $8,000. So in fact, it would be about 120th uh, ranking on the, just if you just ticked income per capita, Cuba will be well down the international rankings. But in fact, it comes 83rd, 37 places higher than its GNI ranking, in part because of very good scores on schooling and health. Likewise, Tonga is 34 places higher on HGI than it would be if you just looked at GNI per capita. Now, what I've done here is I've just taken the countries in the world in 2022 that are at least 20 places higher or stronger on the HGI and if you simply looked at income per capita. Countries like Samoa, Vanuatu, Sri Lanka, and of course, Palestine is in there. What about countries that are underperforming? This is where their HGI score is actually well below what you would expect if you just took income per capita. And again, I've highlighted a couple of countries in red, just for emphasis. Guyana and Equatorial Guinea. Uh, look at Guyana there. Its income per capita is uh, $22,000. Equatorial Guinea, $12,000. Middle income country on that measure. Uh, Botswana, $16,000. Brunei, $64,000. Qatar, $87,000. So these are countries that would be very, very high on uh, income per capita. In fact, uh, Qatar would be third if you just looked at income per capita but it's 42nd if you look at HDI. And there's a nice contrast there, which you can use in your economics exams. In Ghana, for example, uh, the, the GNI per capita rank minus the HDI rank is minus 47. So they would be, what, 61st in the world in terms of income per capita, but they're 108th in terms of their HDI. These are good examples. I, I always use Equatorial Guinea. Uh, they have a per capita income of $12,000, virgin on middle income, uh, but a very low life expectancy. Their HGI ranking is 145. Well, there will be 47 places um, further up if you just looked at income per capita. What we'll do in the next video is look at evaluation and some of the key limitations of the basic human development index. But thanks for joining in. If you liked, uh, if you enjoyed the video, if you found it useful, please, please press like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you sometime soon.